another college football preview for the 2009 season. We'll get to that just in a moment, but first, a quick announcement. You can now try to follow me on Twitter. That's right, I've gotten on the Twitter band rack, bandwagon quays. Uh, there's the link on the bottom, twitter.com backslash kitchell22130. Man, that really messes with me. So, uh, catch the craze, get on the bandwagon, catch up with all the video productions in the future for me and also maybe get a little bit of insight on my life. So let's hit the Big 12 hard here and folks if you like points you're gonna have to tune into the Big 12 this year. Just like last year it's gonna be a whole bevy of points and a, a little bit of defense thrown into it maybe. I can't guarantee that but the South Division's once again gonna be tough to stop. And let's go ahead and hit the MVP race first. You got Desmond Briscoe, you got Colt McCoy, Sam Bradford, you got the three guys, three guys at Oklahoma State, Kendall Hunter, Des Bryant, and Zach Robinson. But if you had to pressure me to pick one of them, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Colt McCoy from Texas. I think this guy is gonna be one heck of a player for 2009. He's got a lot of talent returning. Jordan Shipley, his fantastic receiver, got a sixth year of eligibility at the receiver position. And then up front, center Chris Hall and tackle Adam Ulotsky are probably some of the best in the nation. I love the offensive line. I love the receiving core. The backfield might be a little bit inexperienced, but still, you got to love the Longhorns for 2009. We talked about Sam Bradford. He's definitely going to be a guy to watch out for in the MVP race. And then how about the trio at Oklahoma State? Zach Robinson, Kendall Hunter, and Des Bryant. Bryant's probably the best of the bunch. Great hands, great speed. He's got a ton of athleticism at the receiver position. He is a junior, so he could technically come back for one more year. Kendall Hunter is the blazer at running back. He's going to pick up over 1,000 yards this year once again. And then Zach Robinson, a prolific passer, very accurate, and he can also kill you with his legs as well. The best conference game for 2009 in the Big 12 is going to be obviously the Red River Shootout, Oklahoma and Texas. It's no longer at the Cotton Bowl. They moved it to the new 100,000-seat stadium where the Dallas Cowboys play and their huge, massive 50 million inch TV they had where AJ Terpass actually punted it into that huge screen TV. But back to that game, it's going to be a fun one to watch. Expect a lot more scoring as well. I think Colt McCoy might have the edge over Sam Bradford in this one, but nevertheless, whoever wins will go to the Big 12 title game. That's for certain. And possibly the national championship? You will wait and see on that one, but yes, that's definitely a possibility as well. The best non-conference game is going to be Georgia and Oklahoma State, September 5th, right out of the gate. Joe Cox, Zach Robinson, going to be a good matchup at the quarterback position. Both defenses pretty inexperienced, but expect the Cowboys to probably get the win here. I don't really like Georgia as much as a lot of others do this year, so the Pokes put up a lot of points in this one and get the victory over Georgia. Now let's go ahead and break down both sides of the division. Let's start off in the north. My pick is going to be Kansas. I really like the Jayhawks for 2009 as long as Desmond Briscoe comes back. If he does not come back, it could be Nebraska or even Missouri. That's right. The Tigers lose Chase Daniel and Missouri still has a shot at the North Division title. Bill Snyder's coming back to the Kansas State. That's a team that you got to look out for as well. Can Colorado finally get over that hump with Dan Hawkins? Can in Iowa State with their second year and their new logo and uniform that they look like USC a little bit with their uniforms. Do they have a shot? I wouldn't think so, but I mean, you got to keep the Cyclones on your radar as well. The South Division, Oklahoma, Texas, Oklahoma State, you could easily put all three of those teams into a bag, pick one out, and that could be your champion of the South Division. It's really hard to pick. We'll come back to that because we got to talk about a sleeper team this year that lies in the South Division. That's the Baylor Bears. They have a quarterback by the name of Robert Griffin that not very many people are keeping an eye on. 
He was a freshman All-America in 2008. That's right. He beat out Terrell Pryor as the best freshman quarterback for 2008. He can beat you with his legs. He can beat you with his arm. He's a multifaceted quarterback that they love having down there in Waco, Texas. And they got a pretty good defense coming back, too. There's a guy at the middle linebacker position that not many people know about right now, Joe Pawlik. He's an All-American right at the middle linebacker spot. He can provide a lot of good memories for Baylor fans, and this could be one of their best teams in about 15 to 20 years. And they could finally make a bowl game. Boy, would that, be, would that make the Bears fans happy in Waco, Texas. A team that will disappoint this year. First off, let's go to Kyle Field. The Aggies, I mean, what happened to this proud school that loves football down in Texas? Aggie Land is not going to be very happy this year. Texas A&M, just not enough offensive skill talent. Gerard Johnson is going to be a very talented quarterback for the Texas A&M Aggies for a couple years to come. He has a pretty good passing arsenal, and he also set a school record with 21 touchdowns through the Year, but it just doesn't seem like this team has it, has it in them for this year, especially on defense, where they just continue to miss tackles. But I mean, they, they have an easy non-conference schedule. They could start off 3-0, but don't look anything, don't look for anything good from the Aggies this year. Another team that could disappoint, Colorado. They, maybe this is the year they turn the corner, but. You know, Dan Hawkins has been there for a couple years now, coming coming away from Boise State. they got to put their mark on this season. And then one other team that could surprise a lot of people, thinking maybe Texas Tech, they're going to fall off without Crabtree and Graham Harrell. Taylor Potts can still play, ladies and gentlemen. You remember all those years where Cliff Kingsbury, B.J. Simons, they all left. Guess what? They threw in quarterbacks, and they were perfectly fine in Mike Leach's system. So there's no doubt that the Red Raiders are still going to be a decent team this year. Yeah, they lose a lot of talent, but they're still going to be good. So be careful. Texas Tech could be a team you might want to watch out for from Lubbock. But the team that's going to win the South Division, I'm taking Texas. I love Colt McCoy this year. Can't get enough of him. I think he's going to have a phenomenal year. And I think the Longhorns are going to take down the Kansas Jayhawks in the Big 12 title game. So that's it. That's the Big 12 preview for you coming up next. It's the Pac-10. So everyone, stay tuned for Kitchell 22 130's College Football 2009 preview.